guys, welcome back to Precision Rifle Network. Today is all about the SIG Kilo 10Ks, but specifically not so much a review about glass quality or any of that kind of stuff, but the AB, the ballistic solver that is inside of this paired with the SIG Kilo app and truing it up based on my Kestrel and stretching it out here. We've got about 750 yards uh, to deal with. I'm gonna show you some through the scope footage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with the SIG app. And this gun, this rifle that I'm using here, this Aero Solace and 6GT, has already been trued out. I've been using the Kestrel for a while, but I wanted to add the profile into the SIG kilos so that when I hit the range button on here at any given distance, the data that comes up on the SIGs is gonna match the Kestrel and I'll be able to quickly range a thing get a solution for the rifle and then make a shot and so then we're going to test that so let me go into the app here i'm actually going to start a screen recording for you guys waiting for connection let me start it back up so hit this range button start it back up all right so this screen you're seeing here is the data screen you can see up at the top left there's a range of 748 yards it calls for an elevation of 4.8 mils. My wind is already inputted at 0.3 right. All that kind of stuff, assuming that it's matched up with the Kestrel. But what we need to do in order to build a profile is down at the bottom here where it says gun and 6GT, we're going to tap that. And we've got the different profiles in here. Now, all you have to do is add a new profile to these things. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go in and show you the profile I have. So I've got profile three here. 6GT. I'm going to tap on that and it gives you all of your inputs. Now you've heard it said before, hopefully, and if not, listen closely, garbage in, garbage out, or good things in, good things out. Okay. So I've got my Kestrel data already trued up. So really all I'm doing here is going from one to the other and making sure everything lines up perfectly. Now, if you had no data, um, SIG provides you with a bullet library that you could go in and get some basic data. Now you'd have to go and you'd have to shoot your rifle, you'd have to true it up, you'd have to make sure your ballistic coefficient was right, all those things, and true out this data. But really all I'm doing is taking the data from the Kestrel that I know is on, dead nuts on, and I'm transferring it over to the profile editor here on the SIG app. So as you scroll down, you can see all the different things, right? You've got bullet diameter and weight, the length of the bullet, ballistic coefficient, muzzle velocity, twist rate, all the things. So once your data trues up between the two, or you're certain that your inputs are correct in here, go ahead and hit save at the top right, and it's going to sync with the device, making sure that it's on again. I'm gonna hit okay. Sending the profiles, active profile is 6GT. Now I'm gonna go back to BDX on the app, and now, let me show you what happens when we go to a target. Let's go to this A4 right here. Hit the button. 355 yards. Comes up on the app. 355 yards. Elevation, 1.3 up. Windage, about a tenth. The helicopters here at Altus are quite annoying. I'm not quite sure, but they run these patterns day in and day out, over and over again. They just fly over this whole area, right over the range. Ugh, not sure if it's like a training school or what it is, but it's freaking annoying when it comes to uh, making videos and having noise in the background. If it ain't enough that I already gotta try to get rid of wind noise, now I got freaking helicopters. Anyway, I'm fussing, I know, but I've been here a few days and every single day, stupid helicopters every few minutes. <laughs> All right, so my plan here then, guys, is now that we've got these synced up and I'm trusting the data from the Kestrel and now supposedly trusting the data from the SIG, we're going to go over to the rifle. I'll get some through the scope footage and I'm going to range and dial the rifle based on the SIG kilos and we'll see if we get our impacts from our closest range target here, which is 350-ish yards on out to 750-ish yards. So I'll reposition the camera and we'll do that. All right, guys, so here we go. I've got the trigger cam running. I've got the SIGs and the app running, screen recording there, screen recording here. So what I'm gonna do is get a range for each of these, and then we're gonna go to shooting them 
based on whatever the SIG kilos say in the app, and we'll see if we get the impacts based on this data that we trued up. So uh, the first one, let's see. I didn't think about how I was gonna have to climb in and out of there, I guess, but let's see what the first one is. It is 256 yards, 0.6 mils, 0.6 mils. So five, six. That was a spent one from earlier. All right, here we go. Small target. Center impact. Okay, let's go out to the next one, which is A4. Step back here and range it. A4 is 350, 1.3, 350, 1.3. 1, 1, 2, 3, A4, okay, here we go, good impact, scoot back slightly, I think I had my mag contacting and that kept me, gave me some issues, so here we go again. There we go. Same spot. Data lined up. All right, next one. Let's see. A5 is the far one. And for that guy, we've got 740. 4.7. 4.7. .7 on that data. There's four, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to hold slightly left. All right, here we go. Holding slightly left. Good impact. I'm going to hold center on that guy. And I hit basically right where I was aiming. So I'm going to come back to one of those circles. Okay. There we go. Maybe just a tiniest little bit low. So I was probably missing just underneath. It wasn't my wind call. It was that I needed to come up a tenth. That's 4.8 now instead of 4.7. So in order to true that up, what we do is we change the BC at that distance. So we go into the app, the profile, and the BC wasn't quite as good. So what we need to do is we need to turn the BC down until the data for this range says 4.8. So we're gonna go 0.27. 6.276, save. It's gonna send the profiles back to here. And let's do it again. Seven forty at four point eight. Now it says, yeah, four point seven six, you drowned up to four point eight. That now trues up our BC between the app and everything. So let's go ahead and throw three more rounds down there, which should, in theory, all be impacts. Okay, of course our wind changed a little bit, but I'll go for that second one. Good impact, centered up. Just slightly right. Good impact, right edge. Made the correction, held left edge, and we got a good center impact. So, definitely 
definitely trued up. It works, right? Uh, that's and that's the goal for something like this sort of a tool. So you want to make sure that you're, it's a ballistic solver like anything else. The binoculars are what they are. They're a 10X binocular, good quality glass. It's not the greatest glass, but it's good glass. The blue tint that people like to talk about, I don't think it's an issue personally. Um, I've, I've been using these for over a year now. I like them, I like them a lot. Uh, and I got nothing but good things to say about them. Mine have been really good. Um, the ballistic solver though, I haven't used it very much. Today is one of the first times, you know, you saw I have four profiles in there that I've just sort of played around with. This is the first day that I've actually kind of really put it through its paces and had to adjust data within the app and true it up, making sure everything runs. And you saw, I ran it from 250 on out to four ish on out to 750 ish and got all the impacts that we needed. So. It works, right? And that's the whole point. So, I don't know, leave me some comments. What do you guys like for uh, for ballistic data? Do you like just a, a free app and you, you just go that route? Or do you like paper, old school paper? Or do you run some sort of a, a ballistic solver in some kind of an electronic device, whether it's a Kestrel? Have you ever tried the SIGs? Leave me some comments, let me know. Check out the link to our uh, our sponsors in the description of the video. Thanks for watching today, guys, and tune in again soon for another great video from Precision Rifle Network.